Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and weekly download episode number 40, which is my weekly tech and PC gaming news series. Today, I'm going to be playing the Overwatch PvE event while I give you this news, and I actually forgot to bring a drink. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. To start off the tech news, AMD is releasing their new line of graphics cards this week, well at least some of them being the RX 500 series cards. The RX 400 series cards brought some serious performance at some really great prices and the 500 series looks to improve upon that. The cards aren't too much better, they are clocked about 80 to 100 megahertz more than their predecessors, so this means that AMD is targeting people who don't have the 400 series cards. It's pretty much a rebrand and as of right now, I don't recommend upgrading if you already have a 400 series card, but I'm gonna try and get my hands on at least one of these to benchmark for you guys. Stay tuned. In other graphics card news, a company called Galax has produced the world's only single slot GTX 1070 GPU. We've definitely come to agreement that graphics cards are gonna take up two expansion slots, but Galax threw this out there and personally, I'm really excited about it. Their 16 millimeter thick GTX 1070 Katana Katana is using what they are calling a turbo radiator to cool the card, and they even gave it a pretty clean look to it. I'm not a fan of crazy colors and all that on my graphics cards, and this one is nice and simple. They haven't released a price or release date as of now, so be on the lookout for that. Moving on, Razer, yes, the gaming peripheral company that we all either love or hate, has created some new wired earbuds. They actually released wired earbuds a few years ago, but we haven't heard much about this concept since. These new earbuds are called the Hammerhead BT, which is for Android, and the Hammerhead for iOS, which is obviously for iPhones. Both of them cost 100 bucks, and they also include an inline remote and microphone. I honestly kind of want to try these out because I know how popular Razer is, so make sure you guys let me know what you think. Thermal Take's new gaming mouse just released and it records some pretty interesting statistics. Their software grabs data from the mouse and displays all kinds of information about exactly how you're using the mouse. Things like distance traveled, mouse speed, actions per minute, and liftoffs are recorded and then you can compare your results with the pro gamers. I know some other peripheral softwares are starting to do this, but Thermal Take software looks very in depth and you can pick up the wired gaming mouse for 50 bucks right now. And finally to wrap up the tech news, which is also kind of gaming news, a supposed leaked email this week indicated that Twitch is about to start rolling out $10 and $25 a month subscription tiers. If the email is legit, Twitch partners will be able to start this beta program out later this month and offer subscribers a few more benefits if they pay more money. This doesn't really surprise me at all given the donation sizes of some of the top streamers, so I'm sure that there are some people out there willing to give $25 a month to watch someone play video games. And to start off the PC gaming news, the first installment of monthly updates to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds will drop this week and it looks pretty solid. The main feature added is a motorcycle with a sidecar for some ultimate duo transportation and also the addition of a new Vector SMG and the crossbow. They've also added some much needed performance tweaks as I proved that the game wasn't optimized that great in my budget graphics card benchmarking video. Halo Wars Definitive Edition will be released on April 20th this week and you can finally pick up this game without buying into the Halo Wars 2 bundle. Even better, it's coming to Steam which I'm really excited for. I'm not going to get my hopes up or anything, but the fact that a Halo title being released on Steam seems like a good foot in the right direction, especially with the possibility of Halo 3 coming to PC later this year. The definitive edition of Halo Wars packs all the DLC that was released on the console version and also includes Steam Cloud cloud support, controller support, and better graphics. The next Overwatch hero to transport over to Heroes of the Storm has been announced, and it's Genji. Genji will have all the attacks in Heroes of the Storm like you would expect, including throwing ninja stars, deflecting, and his Dragon Blade ultimate. Along with the update will be a new two-lane battleground map which features payloads. The payloads are the only way that enemy cores can be attacked, and although I don't know much about this game, this new map concept seems pretty cool. And finally to wrap up the PC gaming news, Watch Dogs 2 added an improved 
impressive update this week which added a new multiplayer mode and multiplayer races. The multiplayer mode is called Showdown and it's a 2v2 style game where you have to steal a hard drive or a race and protect the server. You can also now race drones, motocross, or e-carts and this might be enough for me to finally pull the trigger on this game. Seems pretty legit. Well that wraps up weekly download episode number 40. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what your favorite tech or PC gaming news was this week or if I missed anything. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.